Okay, so let's start by creating or setting up WordPress credentials properly, since this is a crucial step that many people struggle with. When working with WordPress in NA10, you need secure access to your WordPress site's API. Let me show you exactly how to set this up with application passwords, which is the recommended method for API access. Let's add WordPress node to our workflow. Let's select create a post, for example. When you add this node, you'll see drop down at the top for credential. Click on it, then click on create new credential. And here the pop-up window will appear asking for your password login information. But before we fill this out, we need to generate a secure application password in WordPress. So go to your WordPress admin dashboard. This is the one for me. Let's refresh it. First thing to do is to grab your email right here and paste it here as the username. Then go back and scroll down and you'll see application passwords. Here you need to fill a name for your new application. Let's call it NA10 test and let's add application password. So WordPress here will generate a secure password specifically for this application. So copy it somewhere safe because WordPress will only show it to you once. So let's copy it. Let's go back here and let's paste it in password. And then you have Windows URL, which will be your complete WordPress site URL. For example, for me, it's this one. Let's paste it here and click on save. And here you go, connection tested successfully. The beauty of using application passwords is that you can revoke access at any time by going here and click on revoke. This gives you much better security control than sharing your main admin password. If you ever need to set up another workflow or if you're moving your workflow to a different NA10 instance, you'll need to generate a new application password and go through this process again. Also, if you have an insecure website, you can check this option. It's for websites that use only HTTP. Okay, so now we need a trigger to start our workflow. Let's search for schedule trigger. This will be the first node in our workflow. Let's configure this trigger to run daily. So let's keep it at days here. You can select weekly or monthly, depending on your needs. Let's keep it every day and let's select the hour as 9 a.m., which is a good time to publish fresh content. You can adjust this time based on when your audience is most active. Once you've set this up, we have our trigger ready to go. This will automatically start our workflow at 9 a.m. every day making sure your blog stays consistently updated without any manual intervention. Okay, let's test it. Great. Now we need to add a source from our content. Let's create our second node here. Let's search for HTTP request. And we're going to configure this to connect newsdata.io. So Newsdata is my go-to news API for this workflow because it offers excellent coverage across multiple categories and languages. The free tier gives you 200 requests per day, which means you could technically generate up to 200 different blog posts daily if you wanted to scale this workflow. So let's go back here. Let's keep the method as get since we're retrieving data for the URL. Let's copy this one. Let's paste this one. This is the base endpoint. Now we need to add our query parameters. Toggle the send query parameters and let's add several parameters. First, API key, which is my API. So let's copy it and paste it here in value. Let's scroll down and add a new parameter. This one is category, which will be technology for me. Let's add language and I'll set it to EN for English. And let's add country. Let's set it for US or whatever region you want to focus on. Finally, I'll add size and set it to one. We're just processing one article per run for now. Okay, let's test this by clicking on test step and see what comes back. Great. We got a JSON response with news articles. Take a look at the structure. Each article contains a title, description, content, link, keywords, and many details. This is exactly what we need to generate our blog posts. Great, let's move on to the next note. Let's generate a blog post from our news item using AI. Let's click on the plus sign here, and let's search for OpenAI. 
let's scroll down and click on message a model great so first make sure your OpenAI credentials are set up for resource select text and for operation choose message a model okay for the model let's select GPT 4.0 it's the best for quality content though you could use 3.5 turbo if you prefer now for the prompt this is crucial for getting good results in the message section add a system message with this text so select the role system and add this message you excel at transforming news into interesting articles without plagiarism great now let's add a user message write a completely original blog post about this news so title Let's select the title here. There we have description. Let's add our description here. And then let's add our requirements. Here we go. So create a unique and engaging title. Write exactly five separate paragraphs, each in its own P tag. Include your own analysis and perspective. Do not copy phrases from the original source and end with a thoughtful conclusion. Next, for the parsing, Format the response as clean JSON without backticks. And let's add this. So we want a response with title and content. Great. This detailed prompt ensures we get consistently formatted high quality content. Let's test this node by clicking on test step. And here we go. We got a complete blog post with a creative title and five well-structured paragraphs. So looking at our output, we have a problem. OpenAI returns the content in a complex format that we need to clean up. So let's add a function node by clicking here, function, code, okay. In this node, we'll add some simple JavaScript to parse the response. Let's paste it here. So this code takes the content string from the OpenAI response, parses the JSON inside it, and returns just the title and content fields in a clean format. Let's test this node by clicking test step. And you shall see how much cleaner the output with just the title and content we need for our blog post. Great. Now a good blog post needs an eye-catching image. So let's generate one using ChatGPT. So let's click plus after our function node and add another OpenAI trigger. Let's search for image and generate an image. So let's configure this node for image generation. Set the resource to image, operation generate an image, and for the model, select DALI E3 for the best quality. Now for the prompt, we want to create an image that matches our blog post. So let's use this expression. Let's open two brackets and let's say, Create a professional illustration showing. Let's add the title here. And then plus, close that, and let's concatenate. So the image should reflect key themes from this content. Let's add a plus sign here, and let's add our content. And let's add dot substring 0 200 and here we go so this creates a dynamic prompt using our blog post title and the first part of the content and the result will be a unique image that perfectly matches each post and you can adjust the size and quality settings based on your needs so let's test this node let's click on test step and after a moment you should see a generated image that matches your blog post content and here we go, let's view it. And great. So before we upload this image to WordPress, let's make sure it's the right size. WordPress works best with specific image dimensions, so let's add an edit image note. So here let's add a note, edit image, and resize image. In this note, set the operation to resize and enter dimensions that work well for your WordPress template. For me, it's 1340 as width and 638 for height. Okay, let's test this. And here we go, the image is properly resized. 
as you can see the file size went from 187 to 152 okay now let's upload the image to the wordpress media library let's click on plus and add http request so let's configure this as follows method post url gonna select your website url paste it here and add this so wp-json slash wp slash v2 slash media for auto notification select predefined credential type and search for wordpress and here we go then enable send headers add content disposition and for value add this attachment file name equals image.png then enable send body for the body content select na10 binary file and input data field name equals put data so let's test this node it should upload your image to wordpress and return information about the uploaded media including its id and here we go so this id is crucial for the next step now before we create our wordpress post we need to combine our blog content and image information into a single data item this is a crucial step to avoid creating duplicate posts or posts without images so here let's add a node and let's search for merge okay let's put the mode as combine let's select combine by position and let's keep the number of inputs as two this node takes data from both our content generation branch and our image upload branch and merges them into a single item that contains everything we need okay so let's put it here so make sure to connect the output from your code node to one input and the output from your http request node with the image id to the other input okay so let's open it and let's click on test step and you should now see a single item that contains both your blog content fields and your wordpress image id this combined data is exactly what we need to create a complete wordpress post finally let's create our wordpress post with the blog content and featured image let's put this here and let's add an http request let's put the method as post let's copy our wordpress link and let's add this wp-json slash wp slash v2 slash posts okay let's use the wordpress api for credential and let's enable send body okay so let's select json using fields below okay let's start by the title let's select the title here we go let's put it here and let's add another parameter for content and let's add the content here and then the status let's put it as publish and then the featured media here we go and let's select the id of the image and here we go now let's try to run this workflow from the beginning and see the complete automation in action gonna save reload and let's test our workflow when we click on test workflow the system will fetch a fresh technology news article transform it into a unique blog post with gpt 40 generates a custom image that matches the content resize it for optimal display upload that image to our wordpress media library and finally publish a complete post with both elements properly integrated great so the workflow executed perfectly let's head over to our posts let's reload and you can see we have a new post here let's go here and reload and this is our new post now your blog will be consistently updated with fresh relevant content even when you're busy with other tasks if you want to customize this workflow further you could change the new source or category modify the ai prompts to match your specific writing styles add social media sharing notes maybe to promote new posts 
and finally maybe implement email notifications when posts are published. Now it's time to activate your workflow. Click on the toggle on the top right corner to turn it on. And from now on, it will run automatically according to your schedule, keeping your WordPress blog fresh with minimal effort on your part. Now this wraps up our WordPress blog posts automation workflow. What we've built today is a powerful, fully automated content system that keeps your blog fresh with quality articles, all without your daily intervention. If you found this walkthrough helpful for your own content strategy, please hit that like button and subscribe for more automation workflows. I've also arranged something special for you. Click on the link below to get an exclusive discount on NA10 VPS hosting through Hostinger. Just choose your plan, choose the period of 12 months and enter the coupon code to receive a discount on the 12 month subscription period. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we'll explore more advanced features of NA10.